Story Time! In today's story, it's all about Let's get along. It's great to work together. Good morning, everyone, said Miss Clayton. I have a surprise for you. The children knew it must be something exciting because Miss Clayton could not stop smiling. Sure enough, Miss Clayton announced that it was treasure hunt day. Teams would search the playground for objects. The first team to find everything would win cool glow in the dark pens. I'm going to split you into teams, Miss Clayton said. Then I'll give each team a set of cards showing objects such as a skipping rope or a toy animal. You must work together to find all the objects and write down where they are. Tia rushed out to the playground. She was more excited about the game than anyone else in the class. Her brother had brought home a set of pens last year when his team had won. She could not wait to have her own set. Tia's teammates were Abby and Ryan. They both looked at the cards, but Tia didn't. I bet together we can find everything really fast, Abby said. Tia grabbed the cards. My brother did the treasure hunt last year, Tia said. He told me where everything is. But Miss Clayton said we have to work together, Ryan said. It will be quicker if you listen to me, said Tia. You want to win, don't you? Tia began walking really fast. Ryan hurried after her. I can see a ball under the apple tree, he called out. One of the things we have to find is a ball. Tia ignored him. The other groups were already writing things down, and that made her walk even faster. There's a yo-yo near the hopscotch, Abby said. A yo-yo is on one of the cards. I told you, Tia said. I already know where to find everything. She could not understand why nobody was listening to her. They were getting close to the field where Tia's brother had found the objects last year. Tia's heart was beating fast. She could not wait to show her teammates that she'd been right all along. When she got to the middle of the field, she looked around for the first time. It was empty. Her heart sunk. I, I, I thought everything would be here, Tia said. It was last year. In the distance, she heard Miss Clayton blow the whistle. A team had already won the treasure hunt. We lost, Tia said, looking shocked. I can't believe it. Ryan glared at Tia. I saw the ball, but you did not listen, he said. Yeah, and I saw the yo-yo, Abby added. 
Thea suddenly felt bad, like she had let her friends down. Her stomach turned into nuts. I'm sorry, she said. It's my fault that we lost. Abby took the cards from Thea. It's okay, she said. But the next time you are in a team, remember that it's important to work together. And to listen to each other, Ryan added. It's not nice to ignore people. Thea realized she had not been a good teammate. She had not worked with her team or even listen to them. I'm really sorry, Tia said. If you'll be in my team again, I'll be a better teammate. Promise? Ryan asked. Promise, Tia said. I know, Tia added a moment later. Let's help tidy up as a team. Good idea, Abby said. Let's go. Here you go, Miss Clayton, Tia said. We pick up everything for you. Wow, that's great, Miss Clayton said. What a fantastic team. Tia grinned. Working together felt great. <laughs>